Hello, and welcome to the DRM blog. Today we're going to provide you with a Fairplay DRM update. Now, there are two interesting things that have happened recently with Fairplay. First off, Apple recently released in iOS 11.2 support for playing back HLS content managed with Fairplay in the Safari browser on iOS. Now, there is no support as of yet for tvOS, which is for the Apple TV, but you can now play this content back in Safari on iOS as well as in Mac OS X in Safari. And the interesting point here is that in the past to do this, you had to use a premium partner SDK like the QoS Multiplay SDK for iOS, but now you can do it very simply in the browser. This will now allow content owners to rapidly distribute certain types of content through the browser of course, if you want more advanced features like downloads or offline playback or multi-track audio or airplay support, it probably makes sense to stick with a technology like the QoS Multiplay SDK. Now there is no support for smooth streaming or Dash, and they are working to support fragmented MP4 and HLS, but today this works with HLS content only. The second update for the Apple Fairplay DRM technology is that Apple has recently enabled a new program for partners. Now, previously when you applied for a Fairplay streaming server SDK certificate, you went through the process, you applied directly through the development center and Apple's website, and you were provided with the streaming server SDK certificate and the application secret key. Now, the certificate you give and upload securely to a DRM provider like ByDRM. We have a secure process that you can do this through our customer console and the certificate is encrypted, it's provided to us through a secure connection and we securely load it up into the QoS platform so that you can use it to clear licenses, fair play licenses. And you load the application secret key into your premium application that you distribute via iTunes or into your HTML5 player. And the combination of those allow you to play the content back. But now that the program has started to gain momentum and there are more and more partners operating content for major studios and network operators, Apple has a new program now where a content owner can request a third party certificate from Apple. And in this model, you apply for the certificate and the application secret key and they come from Apple and they're in the content operator's name, but it's a specific certificate that's designed to be used by the third party operator. And what this allows for is it allows for major studios and networks to distribute content using Fairplay, using third-party platforms like online video platforms or OTT operators or content licensees. And the content owner is still able to manage the security of the technology with their master Fairplay streaming server SDK account with Apple. But they also now are able to firewall the downstream use of their content using Fairplay from their own operations where they're using Fairplay. So if a major operator has a direct consumer offering where they're using Fairplay, they might also have the same content licensed out to a third party who's using a Fairplay certificate. And this creates a division between the two so that the two platforms are separate both from a security and operational standpoint. So these are some pretty dramatic changes in the market. Apple is starting to really pick up the Fairplay platform. And we'll be researching this further and providing you more updates about it, specifically after NAB and specifically after the Worldwide Developer Conference in June. And we look forward to bringing those updates to you here at the Buy DRM DRM blog. And thank you for watching.